Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today is August 3rd, 2020. My name is Leon Weinstein and I am a political analyst and a blogger from Los Angeles, California. I recently stumbled across something absolutely amazing and strange. It is called Stats for COVID and I have questions that demand immediate answers. The Committee to Unleash Prosperity uh, that both such prominent members as Steve Forbes, uh, Larry Kudlow, Steve Moore, Art Laffer, and others recently published a study by husband and wife team of data specialists from Minnesota who happen to be emigrants from the same place where I was born and, and raised, you know, and spent first 24 years of my life. It was called St. Petersburg, Russia. Elena and Daniel Halitov presented the study they called Anomaly in the U.S. death cases in spring 2020. They presented it first to Minnesota Republican senators, and the information shocked the audience. But, but let us start from, from the beginning. The very first question the researchers asked themselves, are death stats in 2020 were different from the previous years. They immediately found uh, that for 11 weeks from March 15 to May 30, 2020, when coronavirus began to rapidly spread in the United States, there was a spike. Spike of about 138,000 uh, additional compared to the same time interval in 2019 deaths. Looking into year-to-year -year differences, starting 2014 to 2019, they didn't find any, any spikes compared to the one in, in 2020. But, but something was puzzling. Only some states contributed to the spike. Many states didn't exhibit any anomaly. In the states that didn't exhibit any anomaly, data was consistent with the data for all these years they examined from 2014 to 2019. How those states are different from the states that spiked? What was done differently or what is different that allowed people not to die from COVID, at least not in such huge numbers? And here comes a puzzling discovery. The states that gave this huge, over 25% increase in deaths were states with Democrats in the state capitals. And the spike was absolutely astonishing. 688% more deaths in this period compared to similar periods during previous years in New York. 688%. Then 255% increase in New Jersey, and so on and so on. You can see on the enclosed uh, to this video table called weekly death per 1 million, that only democratic states gave this huge surge in the amount of deaths. Not Republican, not even those states that were so-called competitive in 2018. In the Republican states, almost zero increase, but in democratic states, huge increase. Florida, for example, shows a 6.9% increase compared to the New York 688. It's, it's 100 times more, not 10%, not 100%, it's 100 times more. How it can be possible? In the attached chart called Nationwide uh, death, death Count, you can see that 78% of deaths nation, nationwide were reported as COVID deaths, COVID-related death. If we look at the states using 2018 information as Republican states, Democrat states, and competitive states, we will find out that during this terrible period in the US, in GOP, governed states from coronavirus died 7,862 people, in competitive states 18,985 people, and in Democrat-governed states, ready? 
111,265 people died from COVID. How, how can that be? It can be. Like it can be a coincidence that the riots happened in 30 Democrat-ruled cities and none in the GOP-ruled cities. So, so what was and is happening? First the idea that came to my mind was that, oh, Democrats probably falsifying death statistics. But, but I decided that this is exceedingly difficult to do and, and quite easy to uncover. So this idea was out. Next idea was uh, Democrats rule in larger cities with dense population, many poor, many of them minorities, as Senator Booker explained to us, uh, it's an environmental racism. Maybe they eat not that good food, do not have enough medicine, calories, no health insurance. But I immediately found in the Elena and Daniel study a link to a study by the John Hopkins University called Urban Density, not linked to higher coronavirus infection rates. The study suggests that denser places, assumed by many to be more conducive to the spread of the coronavirus that caused COVID-19, are not linked to higher infection rates. In fact, the study showed dense areas were associated with lower COVID-19 death rates. Whoa! Another surprise. So the idea that poor die more from coronavirus is false. Good to know. So many Democrats saying the opposite, you know, without any proof. But what is the next idea? Elena and Daniel gave us another, another interesting piece of information. Uh, actually about Minnesota, their home state, which seems to be one of the least affected by the coronavirus among all democratic states. Death in Minnesota from COVID is uh, 1,614. And then this eye-opening information. Death in long-term care or assisted living, 1,231. 76% of all people who died from coronavirus in Minnesota died in the places where they were supposed to be protected the most. Overwhelming majority of older people live with their families or, or alone. If they are so vulnerable, then why whoever lived home didn't die? But those that were at the assisted living died in huge numbers. The answer is, at home, they were shielded from the disease. And in those facilities, they were either exposed to coronavirus or to other diseases which were mistakenly reported as COVID. The most vulnerable population in the most obvious places, exposed to the most. Was it a fatal mistake by the state officials or it was a maybe foreign power attack on America? Maybe Russians did it to Minnesotans. Or it's a terrible act of negligence of the people who we entrusted our moms and dads. Again, most people died not on the beaches, not in gyms, not even at work, not in the classrooms, or, or while walking near their home. But those that were grouped together and exposed to and killed by the virus of, I don't know, something else. And at the same time, the whole country was talking about a need to wear masks and keep social distance because because we can expose our elderly, elderly population to it. We are not sending our kids to schools because they can come home to their grandparents and 
give them this virus. Why did that happen? Was it in more than one state? Who is responsible? And, and I immediately remembered that in the state of New York, Governor Cuomo gave an order to force assisted living places to accept sick with coronavirus patients. Exactly like what happened in Italy and, and produced tens of thousands of dead senior citizens. Looks like exactly the same happened in New York. As far as I know, over 6,000 older people died in New York because of the stupid or criminal actions of the governor. And same mistake happened in several other states, as far as we know. Bureaucracy sent sick with coronavirus old people to where they would spread the virus to many other older people. I hope, I hope American bureaucracy harmed older population not intentionally. However, the results are the same. Thousands upon thousands are dead. Sources and references are attached to this video. We hear rumors that some hospitals and doctors reported COVID even when patients died not having one. Why? Because it was profitable. Insurance companies doubled, as far as you know, I hear and read, doubled payment for the patients with COVID, and since that moment, number of cases began to surge. I know people who were in line for the test, but decided to skip. Three days later, they got results of the test they never went through. Both, according to the medical authority that conducted the test, tested positive for coronavirus. I have read that some of the labs were reporting inflated numbers. Tens of thousands were killed by negligence of the authorities or, God forbid, killed intentionally. I hope not. Many, many millions of pensions and medical expenses saved. Most of those people were old. Many were sick, many were on the brink of any imbalance, any illness, any push would end their lives. And we see that in the democratic states, way more people die, they are exposed to this and maybe other harms and viruses, according to this study. If you want to keep your elderly alive and well, move them to the Republican state. I'm not saying that, for example, Cuomo intentionally killed thousands of seniors. Yeah. I'm saying that to do what he did, he must be a very stupid person. Or absolutely do not care for what happened as a result of his actions. Or he maybe thinks that people like him are untouchable. His brother on CNN uh, lied for weeks about being in isolation in the basement, broadcast, broadcasting to the world, but was freely moving you know, on the streets of New York, having diagnosed with, with coronavirus and endangering others. But he couldn't care less. He was exposed as a liar, but still works at CNN, having his own program and enjoying lying to us on a daily basis. Tens of thousands of dead in Democrat-ruled states. Not in competitive states. Not in republic. This is a miracle, right? Maybe God liked Republican states more. Or what? Live in a Democrat state and you will die earlier. If you want to get rid of your relatives, send him to a facility in the Democrat-ruled state. And if you want your business ruined and your life threatened, move to the Democrat ruled city. Yeah, they have riots all over two months now and no sign of a desire to protect those who, as a matter of fact, pay their mayor and nomenclatura salaries. Or if you want to have multi family dwellings, them called them projects for poor and underprivileged, built in your sleepy neighborhood, you know, in the suburbs, move to the Democrat-ruled suburb towns 
and you will soon see homeless and drunk and arca dealers and pedophiles move to your neighborhood. And you have your spread of misery in every zip code. Republicans try to build and spread wealth in all zip codes. And America was doing it step by step, creating wealth for everyone. But, but current Democrats, or people who call themselves Democrats, want to spread misery in every zip code. They are happy that only in the inner cities life is bad and want to make life equally bad everywhere. They are not spreading wealth. They are spreading misery. They are not after developing new wealth, but want to rob those who build their nests and now are an easy target for those who want to grab what they want. We had police to defend us. This is how it is done in civilized world. Not anymore. I really, really don't know why so many people died in the Democrat-ruled states compared to the GOP-ruled states. I'm not a doctor. Not I am a, a data specialist. I am a political commentator and I know that I, I like free market more, way more, than any form of the government tyranny. So why I am talking about those issues? This is what I want to say. It is your choice. Continue on the path called American way that made this country the best and safest place in the world, or move to a social justice way of the people who are either idiots or criminals, who kill our old, lie, cheat, and do not fear persecution, because their justice is not blind anymore. Amazing numbers. Amazing information, amazing study, amazing how we still didn't kick them out of every office in the land. Thank you for listening. There are only 92 days until the elections that promises to be the most crucial election in our lifetime. Thanks for listening and, and until the next time, goodbye.